What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can take a project made in Adobe Premiere Pro in a newer version and open it in an older version. Why exactly would you need a tutorial for this? Well, I'll go ahead and show you. Opening up Adobe Premiere Pro 2020, I'll go ahead and open up my Troubleshoot project. The sequence over here is a video from yesterday on my channel. As you can see, if we click in the audio, we have some effects, these adjustment layers, we have some transform effects, and the video over here, we've got certain positioning, scaling, etc., etc. There's a couple of fade ins and fade out transitions, but other than that, this is a pretty simple timeline. Assuming for some reason you need to open this up in an older version of Premiere Pro, how exactly do we do that? Well, you might expect that you can simply open up, say, Adobe Premiere Pro 2019 instead of 2020 and simply ask it to open up the project. But I'll go ahead and show you what happens. File, open project, navigate across to it, select it, and open file. After doing that, you'll see this error over here. This project was saved in a newer version of Adobe Premiere Pro and cannot be opened in this version. Hitting OK, let's go ahead and minimize Premiere. So what exactly can we do about this? Well, first of all, locate the actual project file ending in .prproj. Then simply copy this and either paste it in the same folder or in a different location like me. We're gonna be editing this project file so we don't want to edit the original in case something goes wrong. Then, we'll need 7-Zip installed. If you don't have it installed, check the description down below. 7-Zip is a free, open source, compressing client, this one over here. Simply click the download button next to 64-bit and install that. Once it's installed, you should be able to right-click on this file and you'll see a 7-Zip option. Then click Extract here. After doing that, we extracted this file from this zipped up folder. A PR project folder is really just a zipped up folder. Opening it up, you can see a file over here. So with that aside, now that we've unzipped this PR project file, we have this over here. Simply right click and click edit with Notepad++ if you have it installed. Otherwise, click open with, locate Notepad and open it up that way. Because it is quite a large file, it may take a couple of minutes to open up, but eventually you should see a bunch of text on your screen. As you can see, we have a bunch of text. What we're looking for is this fourth line over here, project, object ID one, class ID, version equals 38. This version over here is the Adobe Premiere Pro's version, so we know what version this project was created in. All we have to do is change this to say one or two, a really low number, so we can open this up in a previous version. Hitting Control S to save, we can go ahead and close out of this file. Then after we've done that, simply open up the PR project file again, this time 7-zip, open archive, and we dragging and dropping in this edited copy over here. When asked if we wanna replace, simply click yes. Then after it's been added, you can go ahead and delete this thing that we extracted and simply open up this PR project file inside of the older version of Premiere Pro. So remember that was 2020 that we made the project in, opening up 2019, I'll go to open project, navigate to the file, click on it, open, and it should be opening up in the older version of Premiere Pro. Note that if you had effects and things added in a newer version of Premiere Pro, they may not be copied across properly. I'll simply click OK. And as you can see, it requires third-party components that could not be located. These could be newer plugins that were added in a newer version of Premiere, or they could be missing plugins that aren't currently installed. Anyway, zooming in on our project over here, you can see that we still have our audio effects, our video effects, it's zoomed in, the adjustment layer over here has transitions, animations, etc., and everything's working as expected. Our folder over here also seems to have all of the files that it had previously with nothing much changed. Now we've successfully opened up a newer project file in an older version of Premiere Pro. There is another way around this of moving out just this one sequence and opening it in an older version of Premiere, but I find that I have less success with that method. If you'd like to do that and export just one sequence to open up in an older version of Premiere, simply head across to File, followed by Export, and then select Final Cut Pro XML. After doing that, we can choose the location, click Save, and it'll go ahead and export just one sequence, the one that we had selected. Then we can head across to File, Open Project, and in an older version of Premiere, we can select this XML file, open, and it'll be opening up just that one sequence as a project. Opening it up, you can see that we're missing the audio effects, missing the visual effects, but all of our cuts are still here, and this video over here that has been scaled up 
seems to still have its settings. We've just lost all of our effects. Zooming in as well, you can see that these default transitions, such as the simple fade over here, seems to be working as expected. But of course, comparing these two options, one of them is much simpler and easier to do, but of course can take a lot more time depending on how big your project file is. Anything over about 15 or 20 megabytes can take a couple of seconds to minutes to open up inside of either Notepad or Notepad++. You can of course try different text editors and you'll have different amounts of success. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name has been Technoba here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.